January 28, 1981. Okay, here we are. It's <clears throat> uh, Wednesday, January 28, 5.30 p.m. And Holly has been contracting all day. Yeah, that's just... <laughs> We're 12 hours now. <laughs> and uh, we played Scrabble and they started getting closer. And I checked her, and she was four centimeters dilated, and 100 percent effaced, and the baby's about a minus two. And the bag of waters is bulging. And I'm nervous. What do you think, Matthew? You gonna have a baby? Yeah. Baby Mark or baby Aaron? No. Who? Who's gonna come? Baby Mark or baby Aaron? No. No. Okay. And we have another friend here, Jan Gall. And Jan is going to take Matthew to her house. You going to go see uh, Bob and Julie? Yeah. Yeah. Say hi, Jan. Hello. <laughs> She's as bad as me. You got to interview Okay. Uh, now, um, when did you first hear about this possibility of a baby today, Jan? Two weeks after. Two weeks after the fact, we after Before we knew, practically. <laughs> and then today, and today, um, we told Jan I was in labor, and then it kind of stopped, and Jan called up and gave me her sympathies for <laughs> not being in labor and thinking I was in false labor again. She's going to take good care of Matthew while we're trying to get this baby. Matthew, and we're going to take games, and we're going to go swimming tomorrow. Well, um, I think Bob will probably come and get him. Okay. He'll see the baby. And Jan. Oh, yeah, you can oh, come, yeah, too. We'll come. Yeah, we'll Yeah, you can, can, too. But I was thinking maybe if he left with Bob, you know, it would be easier. Okay. I would know, come I and visit well. sometime when Bob can maybe come. Okay. Come with you so that when you leave, you lose with Bob too. No, because if he left me alone just with you, it'd be hard, but I think he'd be okay, okay. With Bob. Okay. So Bob will give you a call. Can we call Jeremy yet? Yeah, we called down to Florida. And they think bingo is more important. And so they're bingo. going out playing bingo tonight, <laughs> and not sit around waiting for the big message of what the baby is. I'm not to because we want So, so we'll uh, see how things are going. Hopefully, the next time we tape, we'll at least be in labor. Thinking of having a baby. Matthew's getting out ready to go. Bye bye. Say bye bye, Matthew. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, he really is shy. He talks better than that. Okay, so we'll see you later. Huh? Here we are at Swedish American Hospital. I think it's the real thing. <laughs> Just ask me during a contraction. I know it's the real thing. Ask me between a contraction. I say I think uh, it's the, the real thing. You haven't really used your breathing I haven't used much you. at all. Uh -uh. A couple times I'd count one, two, three, four, you know, and just kind of breathe with it, but I haven't really, really needed to breathe in that. I say five centimeters, almost five. Six, almost six, five. Two, three, four, five, six, five, five, five. Sounds good to me. Yep. We're in the birthing room right now. Hopefully we have a baby in here. We have to go in there. The kids kick it all over the place, just like he's still doesn't know which way to come out yet. <laughs> well, Bob's taking some pictures, which we'll see in the album, probably. You look I'm bigger trying, than ever. I'm trying to, well, I'm starting Are you having a contraction? contraction. Yeah, what time is it? It's 6, 12. I really feel like I'm making it. Right Maybe a little more Christmas. Long, the contraction. Some of them are real uncomfortable. A lot of them are too big. So let's keep it up the easiness of it. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay.
Mom, say hi. Hi, say hi. <laughs> Hello. Introduce yourself. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Well, the tape for our other son, Bob's got me moaning and groaning in the back. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is really maybe. different. Yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Dr. Gordon, you can tell Okay, I'm not sure my friend's done. Okay. okay. Good. So, any getting up and running around you want to do? <laughs> maybe I should. Could I go to the bathroom real quick? Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe yeah. I should. I'd like to be empty as much as yeah, I yeah. can before. Because I know last time after I had the baby, I had to go to the bathroom so bad and I couldn't go on the <laughs> bed. I have a bad job. So I think I'll empty as much as I can. Okay, we'll talk okay. again later. Okay, it's now 7.10. Almost. Moving we'll right along, Holly. I predicted before 9 o'clock and you predicted before 12. <laughs> And Bill came in and broke her bag of waters, and the fluid was nice and clear, and the baby's heartbeat is good, so everything looks fine. How many centimeters was I Six to seven, he said. And uh, so things are moving along. We're still using the first breathing. Is that slow chest? Mm -hmm. Slow chest breathing. And the contractions are about three to five minutes apart and lasting a little bit over a minute. So that's about where we stand now and we'll talk again a little later. Well now it's seven twenty seven thirty five and we're I think we're in transition because Holly's using a pant blow and uh, it seems to be working pretty well. She hasn't been checked since last time and that's okay. Yeah. One of them lasted a couple of minutes, and they seem to be fairly close together. I don't know exactly how close it is. It's about three minutes. She's got her sucker out now, using her sucker. Right. Why don't you tell the tape recorder what happened? Well, I think the last time we taped, I was just before transition, and it. And I don't know what time that was, but 8.07, out came the kid. I rolled over to the side and pushed him out. I had to have a little bit of an episiotomy. It's a little tight there, but it was relatively easy. I only had the urge to push a couple contractions, not like I did with Matthew, for a lot of them. And Bill was right here, and we took all kinds of pictures, and... He nursed. Yeah, he nursed. Good nurser. He looks as I, I think he's a Johnson. He's got the round face. He doesn't have a tall forehead like Matthew. But he's got the crease across practically, the eye, the wrinkle, not as much as Matthew did. Yeah. And then he's got a rounder face than Matthew. A lot of hair. A lot of hair. Um, a little redder. A little uh, more color. More color than Matthew had. Yeah. Real pretty little boy. I guess I didn't even say that yet. It was yeah. a little boy. <laughs> And I knew the head was out, he, he tried to cry almost before he was really born, it was just really funny. And I knew the head was out, and I, I knew I only had a couple more seconds to find out if it was a boy or a girl. And then he came out, and so it was really only in the hospital a couple hours, which was nice. I didn't have to sit around here and labor a long time. But we're all real happy and thrilled, and now we've got two little boys, and Matthew's got Mark, so yeah. <laughs> he'll be happy. So he's real, a real cutie. He's got, he looks around and he's looking at me and everything. You know, it's just amazing that they can be that alert right after they're born. So, your beautiful baby, Mark, and you probably will be a big boy when you can hear this tape later on. But we're real excited about it, about you, and real anxious to have you meet Matthew and the rest of the family. You look like you'll be a good eater. <laughs> He's already chopped down on both, both breasts, right? Both breasts, and then he's insisted on sucking on his fingers some more, so <laughs> he'll be a good eater, I'm sure. And has had, what, you said two bowel movements already?